Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So y'all, I'm back with another Amazon try on haul. This time I'm going to focus on dresses for the fall. I recently put out a massive Amazon fall try on haul last week and a lot of y'all are really into it. I collabed with my girl Liz Tool and I think we both brought the heat. So thank y'all so much for supporting our try on hauls. So I was like, you know what? Let me come back focusing on some dresses because I'm definitely a dress kind of girl and I wanted to see what latest fall finds I could find for you all. If you see anything you like in this video, know that all of the links are in the description box down below and it's very organized so that way it makes it easy for y'all to shop. And if you shop through my links, please know that you are directly supporting Is That Your Hair and y'all, <laughs> it means so much to me. I've been looking through my affiliate links and Y'all have been coming through, so thank you so, so much. My measurements will be provided in the description box as well. I'm 5'3", 174 pounds, 3840D bra, 34 waist, 4344 hip. And sometimes in the winter, I get a little more fluffy, so <laughs> those numbers might fluctuate over the next few months. We'll see. But those are my measurements, and I hope that really helps you. I do consider myself mid-size. However, I really hope that my Tron hauls can cater to all sizes. And just like I did in my last try on video, I will leave links to plus size options. Some of these dresses do come in plus size, but sometimes when I'm scouring around Amazon, I see plus size items that I think would look good on people. Normally I'm looking for my mom because she's plus size, so I'm like, you know what? Let me start sharing that with my audience in case, you know, people are curious. So definitely check the description box for those links. Also, if you're curious about the hair, this is a wig. It's a 13 by 6 frontal. It's by Bobby Boss. A lot of y'all really love that video. I'll link it down below so, you know, you can check it out. Okay, so for the first dress I have here is the dress I'm wearing right now. It's a red long sleeve maxi dress that is off the shoulder. Y'all know I love me off the shoulder number and this one does not disappoint. It's cute. It's comfy. It has pockets. Come on now. Y'all know that we love pockets around here on Is That Your Hair? Comment down below if this is something that you would rock this fall because I'm definitely going to be rocking this one. I would pair this with some flats, maybe even some sneakers depending on how I'm feeling that day. I think it's just a great find on Amazon. And I believe this comes in plus sizes. I'm definitely going to try to find a link, so keep an eye on that description box. But this one right here, highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Go get it. I have it in a size medium and it's so stretchy. I probably could have sized down to a small if I wanted to. The next dress I have here is a long black maxi dress it does come with this unique neckline as well i originally got this dress in a size of medium and something about this ribbon material i don't know but it was fitting me very uncomfortably so i sized it to a large in the black color because originally i got a tan and this fits just right even when i'm walking around i notice i still have room at the bottom of the dress so i recommend this one as well especially because of the material it does not feel cheap at all and I think it's a nice addition to your fall closet. The highlight for, of this dress is really the material for me. I just love the way it hugs me and clings to my curves. Yes, I, I'm really feeling this one, y'all. So let me know if you're feeling the same. Y'all see this material? It's light, but still, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, this is a solid rib net material. Like this is not cheap to me. I'm here for it. Okay, this next dress, y'all, I love. I actually saw my girl Liz Tool wear the long version of this dress, which I'm definitely purchasing, but I opted for the short version and it just fits me like a dream. I love the V neckline and I like the detail on the back, that little cutout detail. This dress also comes with a little tie that you can tie in the front. I'm showing you here that I have it tied in the front and tied in the back and i'm trying to decide which look i like better let me know in the comments which one you prefer tied in the front or tied in the back but yes that dress 
It's a winner, y'all. I think that dress is definitely one of my favorites from this haul thus far. So I had to just throw throw that in there from the get-go because I want y'all to get that dress. I want y'all to stunt in that dress. You can look cute and be warm at the same damn time. And I can imagine it with a nice long pea coat. Maybe if you're doing like a monochromatic look, you can get the same color. Or if you just like a black pea coat, that's cool. I'll link two pea coats that I found on Amazon down below in case you're interested in trying them in case you're looking for a pea coat yourself. I really like this next dress too, y'all. I have it in a size medium and the material itself is just such a nice quality. Look at this, y'all. It's so thick and stretchy and I love a good turtleneck. I, I'm so here for this. And do you see that pattern? I'm turning on the light a little bit so you can see that it's a beautiful knitted pattern on this sweater dress. It hugs you like a bodycon, but it's not too tight. So I definitely, definitely recommend this one. You're for sure gonna keep warm. This is gonna be a great piece as you're transitioning from fall into winter for sure. And I paired it with these boots that I bought from Amazon that were highly rated, had a lot of great reviews. Would I wear these two together? I don't know, but the boots are comfy and I actually feel like these are thigh high boots that will stay up on my leg. That's one issue I have, these thigh high boots don't be staying up, the cheaper ones at least. So based on what I can tell, these are good for me, especially for boots that are under $50. Okay, so this next dress here is a cute chocolate number. Seeing it on camera, I'm like, huh, it doesn't look so bad. Like it's giving me nude vibes for chocolate skin, which I'm here for. Out the pack, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna blend right into me, I don't know. But I think I'm starting to like it. Do y'all let me know how you feel about it on my skin. Chocolate is definitely trending right now, so I can see a lot of different skin tones rocking a dress like this. The dress itself is great quality. It's stretchy. It's like this almost spandexy material, like a thin spandex. And the ruching, of course, looks very flattering on my body, especially if you have curves. But even if you don't have curves, I feel like ruching just accentuates it. So I highly recommend this dress. All right, so this next dress right here, I actually wore this the other day to work. I have it in a size medium. This is a turtleneck dress and it does come with ruching. This is more like a cotton material, a cotton rib material. I feel like I should have gotten this in a size large. You know how you put on a dress and you can already tell like, oh, it's like not going easily over the shoulders. That's what happened to me with this dress. I mean, it still fit nicely, but I think I would have avoided that, oh, is this gonna fit feeling if I would have gotten the size large either way I think it's a great dress for the price point of course it's available in several colors which is the case for many dresses and clothing items on Amazon a lot of them are available in many different colors so even if you don't like the color that I'm wearing per se definitely check to see if you they have a color that you like especially if you see me wearing a color and you're like you know what I just want that in black go click the link sis 10 times out of 10 they have the dress in black <laughs> It's rare that they don't. I know some of you like the darker colors in the fall winter months, so I just wanna put that out there, okay? It's not just this color that I'm wearing. They have a multitude of colors available. Okay, this next dress right here. I can't remember the YouTuber that put me onto it, but when I saw it on her, I was like, I gotta have it. I have it in two colors, right? So I'm showing you the black right now, and it's so sexy. I mean, do y'all see that? It's off the shoulder and open back. I never thought I'd be able to get two of my favorite things in one dress, but here we are. <laughs> I have this in a size small, right? And I love the way the small fits on me. It's a stretchy material and it's a thick rib knit material, so it fits great. However, the arms fit a little tight around the shoulders. So I was like, you know what, let me try a size large because that's what was available at the time in the rust color. And this orange rust color is a hit. Okay, please add this one to the cart if you're trying to start on your ex this fall season. Seriously, I absolutely love this color. The large still has a nice fit on the body. It's definitely a looser fit from my frame. I think the medium would have been more perfect for me, but I'm fine with the large as well. In the arms, it's very loose. You see how it looks like a little baggy where my armpit is? Not a huge deal because I still think it's a beautiful dress and I love this concept. It's, it's giving me something, y'all. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> like I'm not trying to hurt nobody in these streets. I'm just trying to look cute and stay warm. That's it. So if you're looking for a new sexy felt number, that dress right there, definitely the dress for you. I know I said earlier the sweater dress is one of my favorites. This rust orange one, 
absolutely a favorite. It might be my number one favorite from this haul. And it fits so comfortably and it's very stretchy. I feel like it's true to size. You might even be able to size down because the fact that I'm able to wear a small comfortably, I think that's pretty telling because I'm normally very much a medium type of girl. So yeah, go ahead and add that one to the cart. Okay, this next dress right here, I'm not a fan of it on my body. But because I love the material so much, I'm like, you know, let me show it. Maybe somebody out there might like it. It is a velour material. When was the last time y'all wore velour? I probably haven't worn velour since 2003, back when I had a velour jumpsuit and baby girl on my butt. <laughs> Straight up. Seeing this material again remind me why I love velour so much. It's definitely a stretchy material. It's just beautiful. This is a beautiful material in person. And I like what they were trying to do with this dress. You know, they have the collar and the cutout. I don't know, for me, I guess it's either one. Like, the cutout on the button-up dress, it just, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it, at least not for this one. Not to say that I wouldn't try it on another dress because, you know, I like anything that exposes some of my back. But for this particular one, hmm, I could do without it. I think this dress that I just showed is my second least favorite from this haul. Okay, now on to my least favorite dress from this haul. <laughs> you know, th this dress, when I saw it on the website, I was like, okay, I think something can be done here. I originally purchased it in a green in a small. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why because the small was not fitting. I thought I saw like a stretchy waist and it wasn't gonna work, but I got this in a large and it just looks very cheap costumey. Like it's giving me bubblegum princess vibes and I'm not going for that at all. Part of me feels like maybe it would look better in the black color that they have available and I'm low key tempted to try it. But I don't know. I think this is just one of those dresses that one, you're gonna have to toss in the dryer a few times to get those hard wrinkles out. And then from there, I don't know. Not my favorite. The green color actually looks pretty in person, but it still has that kind of costumey type of feel. So, mm, I don't know. And now for the last dress that I have in this haul, this right here, this is, this is really pretty. This is giving me, you know, if you're attending a wedding, you can wear a dress like this. Maybe if you are having a baby shower, I think this is a very nice dress to wear. I love the material of this dress. I feel like that's what the last dress was trying to give and it, it just didn't work. But this right here looks expensive without being expensive. You catch my drift? And I also like the sleeves, I like the style. It does have these flaps that tie in the back. I think it's just a nice flattering dress. I did get the size large and part of me is tempted was tempted to get a medium but because I know it's not stretchy, I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's gonna work. I am happy with the size that I got that dress in. It's just beautiful all around, a beautiful quality piece. And just so you understand the difference here, like look, this is the, the dress that looked cheap that I didn't like, and this is the dress that I just showed y'all. You see the difference? Like, come on now. Ooh, which fabric looks like it's a high quality. I think it speaks for itself. If you're looking for a nice, classy, modest number, I think that last dress, I think you should give it a go. All right, y'all, this concludes my fall fashion haul featuring dresses. Let me know which dress is your favorite in the comments. Are you adding any of these to your Amazon cart? I'm sorry if I'm making y'all spend some money, but tis the season, we have to prepare for the holidays. And I know that we've been cooped up in the house for a long time, so I have a feeling that People are gonna be going out a lot more this holiday season, and I'm here to be the reason. <laughs> so yes, talk to me in the comments. I always respond, and of course, if there's something that you cannot find in the description box, definitely let me know in the comments. I always appreciate y'all when y'all notice something that I didn't catch, because that helps me help you and help other people as well. And if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let me tell you something, y'all. I'm so excited because we just reached 27,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so, so much. Y'all have no idea how much that means to me. We're officially on the road to 30K. I would love to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. What do y'all think? Are we gonna make it there? Let me know. And if you wanna help me get there, share this video with a friend. Also, if you wanna see some of my latest trial and haul videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so, so much for rocking with me. Premiere party. I love y'all, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!